Known as the most common type of man in the male sociosexual hierarchy, the Delta Man is sometimes considered the average Joe, and is known to be the backbone of many different types of societies. However, to be a Delta Man doesn't mean you'll be a Delta forever, as they're also the most likely to move up or down the social hierarchy. So what is this type of man all about? Welcome or welcome back cycle. Today's video is all about the top 8 most obvious Delta male traits. But before we start, have you liked and subscribed to our channel yet? Be sure to click the notification bell while you're there so that you never miss a video. Alright, let's jump right into the video starting with number 1. They are most likely to move rankings. Let's just start off by saying that this sociosexual hierarchy is known to be extremely controversial, and nothing should be taken too seriously when it comes to typing yourself as any specific type of male. One of the main contributing factors to this controversy is that most men don't stay in their most related hierarchy rankings due to life experiences, motivation and drive, or lack thereof. The Delta is a perfect example of this concept because this type of ranking of men is almost seen as a stopover placement to men that are stuck between the Gamma, Beta or even Alpha male types. They can easily make the move to a more driven ranking should they find a passion that drives their motivation, or fall to a lower ranking should they be faced with an uncomfortable circumstance that takes away their happy-go-lucky and comforting nature. Number 2. They show up and get stuff done the Delta Man sees the importance of putting in the work and earning an honest living. They aren't as drawn to the idea of living out their wildest dreams when it comes to careers and are less likely to become an entrepreneur by taking their financial earnings into their own hands. Instead, they show up for work and use their motivation to earn a paycheck and maybe move up the company as their ultimate goal. The Delta male in the workplace hierarchy is the one that shows up clocks in, puts the work in, and then goes home to enjoy the reminders of his day on his own time. The Delta doesn't necessarily need passion or purpose in their job position to feel fulfilled in life. Number 3. They pride themselves on competence Just as the Delta is a great worker in the workplace, they strive to feel and be seen as a competent member of society. They are by no means lazy, nor are they interested in breaking the rules for their own enjoyment. Instead, they rather do what is expected of them by contributing their work to a greater purpose. However, it isn't enough for the Delta to feel fulfilled if they put in the work without seeing that their work is demonstrating their levels of commitment. Therefore, if there isn't a good leadership behind the project as a whole, they may feel a lack of recognition, which ultimately leads them to feel trapped. Number 4. They don't mind not being the leader If it's not obvious from the last two points we just discussed, the Delta male really doesn't mind not being the leader. In fact, they feel almost comfortable when someone else is responsible for overseeing the grander picture. Although circumstances can easily spark the interest in being a more dominant male such as the Beta or Alpha, the Delta man generally doesn't hold leadership ambition and doesn't really care to either. All that is needed for this type of male to feel content in their lives is a good balance of fairly compensated work, a little recognition and some spare time to do the things he personally enjoys. Number 5. They blend in with the crowd The Delta male is considered the average normal guy, and he doesn't draw attention to himself and will rarely speak out if they aren't okay with the situation they're involved in. The Delta male has either been put down in the past or feels powerless in his environment which makes him stop questioning what it is he truly wants in life, and encourages him to just conform and go through life in the least challenging way possible. This makes for a seemingly boring personality, even if there is a vast amount of knowledge and confidence that is impatiently waiting to be used. This withdrawn way of life makes the Delta male blend in with the rest of the bunch. 
which unfortunately doesn't make it very easy to find relationships and true friendships. Luckily, as we mentioned before, the Delta position in the controversial sociosexual hierarchy is very fluid and can be used as a brief stopover to a more powerful, confident version of a man, if they're willing to put in the work. Number 6. They desire respect and recognition because the Delta male is hesitant to put his needs first and speak up for himself, he is an extremely desirable worker because he will put his head down, put in the hours, and never make a fuss. However, deep down inside, the Delta man craves attention and recognition for the hard work and competency he provides to a business or a family. In the workplace, for example, since he blends in with the crowd, who is most probably made up of other hard-working deltas, they are easily overseen and rarely get the pat on the back or the much-needed bonus they are due. This contributes to the lack of confidence and can easily give them the idea that maybe their work isn't so great after all, when in reality, they are probably the ones keeping the business afloat. Number 7. They don't strive to be with overly powerful partners. Well, it's not that the Delta male lacks interest in powerful partners. In fact, their lack of drive to obtain a confident partner ultimately comes down to the lack of power they see in themselves. Powerful women and men usually go for similar personality types as themselves, and the same goes with the Delta type. The issue with this is that the Delta partner may be more attracted to the alpha or beta male stereotypes because, stereotypically, Delta females and most other types of females are attracted to confidence and power, two things that Deltas are more than capable of achieving but may not be overly driven to have. It may take a little more time, but in the end, there is someone for everyone. And number eight they are slightly resentful. Delta males are more likely to blame their life problems on outer circumstances and people unlike the alpha male who knows that his circumstances are a byproduct of his life choices. Not to say that the Delta man plays the victim in every scenario life throws at him, but he is much more likely to ask himself what happened in life for this to be my outcome rather than what should I do to change this outcome. He may look around at seemingly happy people and think that life dealt them a good hand of cards, undermining the fact that they've been through their own set of struggles. The reality for a Delta male is that he has great capability to better himself if he were to step into his power and put in the inner work to encourage himself to make some life changes. So, Psycho, are you a Delta male? And if so, have you moved up or down the hierarchy at some point in life? Don't forget to leave us a like, share this video with your friends and also subscribe to our channel for more Psycho videos.